check this out. I have a phone here with its camera flash switched on. I bring in a magical filter over here and I keep it on top of the phone. Nothing much seems to happen. That is until I start rotating it. Once I start rotating, you can see that the light begins to dim. <gasps> light is dimming. Just by rotating the filter, the amount of light that comes out from the filter starts changing, starts decreasing. How does that happen? What has rotation got to do with the amount of light that comes out from the filter? Wow, what sort of a filter is this? I told you, it's a magical filter. Okay, I'm going to make things a little bit more interesting. I'm going to bring a second, a second similar filter and keep it on top of the first one. What do you think is going to happen? Let's find out. Here is the second filter. I keep it in front of the light source now. And whoa! <laughs> Isn't this crazy or what? The light is increasing. Just think about what happened. The first filter itself is crazy, right? The amount of light it absorbs depends upon the rotation of the filter. Okay. And I placed the filter in such a way that most of the light was absorbed. It almost killed all the light. So the light that was coming out from the filter itself was very, very faint. And then I kept a second similar filter on top of it and somehow more light started coming out from that. How can more light come out? How is it possible that I put in less light on the second filter, but more light comes out from it? Have I broken physics here? Am I creating light? Turns out not to be so. There's a very simple explanation for what you saw. Mind you, there is no camera tricks over here, but it's just physics. So the phenomenon we're going to talk about is called as polarization of light. So what is polarization of light? I will begin with what is not a polarized light. The light that you get from the sun or a flash lamp or an electric bulb or a candle light, any source you want to talk about, including the light from the camera flash itself is unpolarized light. Most of the sources give you unpolarized light. But once the light went through the filter, the magical filter, it started polarizing it. So again, what is polarization? To understand polarization, you need to understand what light is. What is light? If you ask someone what is light made of, if that someone knows a little bit of physics, he or she will tell you that it's an electromagnetic wave. So what it means is light is actually a wave of electricity and magnetism. The way to think about this is, imagine this is the direction of light then it contains oscillating electric field vectors and magnetic field vectors. Now the rule over here is that the electric fields and the magnetic field must always be perpendicular to each other. And not just that, they're also perpendicular to the direction of the light. So all three are mutually perpendicular to each other. That is an electromagnetic wave. Now, for simplicity purpose, I'm going to get rid of the magnetic fields. They are there, of course, but they hardly affect polarization. So I'm going to get rid of them. All right. Also, I'm going to turn the light. I'm going to show you the front view of it. Most of the time, I'm going to keep switching from this view to front view. So you have to get comfortable with this throughout the episodes. All right. Okay. Now, what is polarization? You see, in this picture, I have shown that all the electric field vectors are oscillating in the same plane, this plane. But there is no reason for them to do that. There are so many other planes in which they can oscillate. For example, they could oscillate in this one, or maybe this one, or maybe that one. In fact, if you consider the light from any of the sources I just mentioned, most of the sources that is, then you will see that these electric field vectors are all oscillating in any possible direction, any possible plane. They're all randomly oriented. And such a light is what we call as a randomly polarized or an unpolarized light. So if someone asks you what is an unpolarized light, you tell them, look man, if you consider a light in which the electric field vectors are all oscillating in all possible planes, that is an unpolarized light. So in contrast, what is polarization? Can you guess now what polarization is? 
Well, if you guess that polarization is somehow breaking this randomness, then you are right. If you can break this randomness and give some sort of an order to these electric field vectors, then we have polarized light. One way to do that is by making sure that all the electric field vectors do line up or do oscillate in one plane. If you can do that, then we call this as a plane polarized light. Get it? Plane polarized because all the electric field vectors are confined to one single plane. Plane polarized light. So that's what polarization is, breaking the randomness and giving them some order. One kind of polarization, as I told you, is a plane polarized light. But how did that filter plane polarize the light? The light that was being incident on that filter was an unpolarized light from the camera flash, but the filter somehow polarized the light, made it plane polarized. How did it do that? What is so magical about that filter? Secondly, what does it have to do with the rotation? How is it that when I rotated the filter, you got different amount of light being absorbed? And above all, what does it have to do with the fact that both these filters are actually ripped off from 3D glasses? What has polarization got to do with 3D television? Turns out everything. All this and more in the next episode.